Okay, I'm going to go shoot through this and show you how to use a great add-on for Google Forms called Doc Appender. Um, this is one I came across as I was going through some of the studying for the Google Educator, and I really love it. I think it's a great tool to use and some great, um, you can do some pretty cool things with it. So let's get started right away with it. Um, one of the forms I used this last year is called a blog check form, and I used this when I had three different classes writing three different sets of blogs. And rather than having to go through and open up every site, I can go through this. I can get one, their, their blog site address. I can get their uh, what they actually posted on the blog and their name and different questions from that. Um, what I want to do though is I want to have a, one document I bring it back to and although with Google Forms when you fill it out you do get a spreadsheet I'd like to actually have a table form with just two or three questions so I might ask many questions in the form but this will give me two or three questions I can do with this. What Doc Appender does is it takes the form and you can decide the questions you want to put onto a Google Doc and that's how to do it with it. So to start this up first thing I'm going to do is I've got to set up in my Google Drive I need to set up a folder in which I'm going to put Google Docs. So I've already done that. I made my folder called Blog Check and I made a Google Doc for each classroom. So you can see I have one for business computer applications, one for business ed, one for graphics and animation, all the way through. You get the idea what we're doing with this here. Then I'm going to go to Google Forms. I'm going to set up a new form. I'm going to do this as if I'm starting right from the beginning here with this. So first thing I want to do before I do anything is I want to actually add in my uh, my add-on. So if I go over here to settings, I can go down to add-ons and I can go over from here and I can put in the, you can either go through and you can do a little search in here, doing it this way if you want to do that. Right here I have Doc, Doc Appender. I'm going to put that in there for free. It's a free one. I'm going to add that in. I'm going to go through all the questions with that. I'm going to allow. Okay, and I now have Doc Appenders now added into my Google Forms. Simple setup, select a folder. Okay, got it. Now, this right here now shows me that I have add-ons added onto my Google Forms, one being my Doc Appender. Got to make my form first. Let's go back and do that step. So I'm going to call this my Genius Hour Blog Check Form. And here's our Blog Check. Sounds good. Okay, my first question I'm going to ask is what class are you taking? What class are you taking? And this is going to be a drop down. I'm not going to populate this question and I'm going to show you why when we get into the add on. This is a required question. My second question is list your name. List your name, first name, and initial uh, last name. Okay, and this is going to be a short answer. Again, required. And then list your blog post, uh, your blog address. Again, this is going to be a short answer required. And then copy and paste your blog address, your blog post here. And this is going to be a paragraph. It's going to be a little bit longer. And again, required. Now, Doc Appender, can, you can you take out five or six questions. So if I only wanted to, to track two or three questions, Doc Appender is great. I'm going to make this a short form, So, but I'm going to use the questions with and you'll see what I'm going to do that in a minute. Um, so we've got all the parts with that. I don't actually need this question, so I'm going to just delete that because I hit the wrong button there with that. So we'll delete that. So there's my form all ready to go. Okay, I've got this with us. At this point, I'm going to go up here to my Doc Appender and it's going to open it up in the sidebar. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach it to a file from my drive. So I'm going to pick from my drive, and again, I already made my folder. That's my blog check, okay? And that's going to attach that. It's going to be looking there from that. I'm going to go to next, um, select my question. And I'm going to go to here. I want to do select my question, refresh my list. What class are you taking is the one I'm looking for. And again, save and populate. And remember I was telling you I didn't have to worry about filling in all the questions with that. It will actually do this here for me onto this. There we go. There's all my classes. So I don't have to worry about that. Go to next. I'm going to load my questions. Again, my questions are right here for my blog. Now, if I was doing, let's say I, I wanted to check this even with just um, 
I want to do a quick check on three or four questions on a quiz I was doing, you can use this for that as well. So I could have all my questions on here, but I actually only want to see from my, for my blog document, I want to see their name, I want to see their blog address, and I want to see a copy and paste of their blog post. And from that, I'm going to go through and I'm going to do rows in single horizontal table. I'm going to enable that. And at this point, I'm ready to go. So I can actually send this out to my students. And just to show I can give you an idea of what it's actually going to look like. So let's say they're in InfoTech 9. And it's blog site. Um, okay, submit that. All right, submit another response just so you can see what we're doing. And we'll do another one for InfoTech 9. InfoTech 9. Rick L. Blogsite.com. Okay, and we'll submit that. And if I go up here to my blog check, what I will see now here in InfoTech 9. is a Google Doc with all my information in it populated into that. So great for exit slips, great for entrance slips, great for checking a couple questions on your test. Um, overall, really good product and easy to use.